today, today for you. I've uh, been basically out of pocket. We've been visiting uh, friends and family members, uh, taking a break in the Rona action to finally get out and uh, do a few things with people. And um, so I guess uh, now I'm taking a break from <laughs> driving around visiting people to get back to the train run. I did uh, want to give a little um, review of a little uh, camper I bought. Uh, it's from Osborne Model Kits. And I uh, got this from uh, Pfeiffer Hobby Supply and hopefully you can see that fairly well. Uh, it's a good little kit. I uh, went together easy, um, which is good for me because usually these uh, uh, laser wood cut uh, kits are pretty tough for me to do, but this one went pretty good. So let me um, uh, turn the camera off and take you over here and show you what it looks like. It's a little too dainty for me to try to uh, hold in my hands and show you what it looks like. So we'll go from there. Okay, here's the little uh, instruction book that you get with it. Uh, and this is what it's supposed to look like when you get done if you want to set it up like that. Uh, the instructions are just basically picture instructions. And like I said, if I could put it together, anybody could. Uh, it was very straightforward. Um, all the pieces went together good. I was kind of surprised at that because in the past, a lot of these laser wood um, uh, kits, to me, don't go together very good. Um, the only problem that I had is on the bottom of this, I don't know if you can see it, it's the, this portion right here, the bottom is cardboard and you have to stretch it and connect it from this slot to that one and it wasn't quite, the slots were off just a little bit, but it was an easy fix, just take your uh, hobby knife and um, cut one or the other uh, a little bit bigger and it fit right in. So uh, I wound up to as you can see, that's what it looks like. It's basically uh, stickers on the outside. Uh, the rest of it's wood. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, it looks looks like a little camper. It's not going to look as good as the Woodland Scenics that are, you know, lighted and uh, painted in China or whatnot. But uh, this is a pretty economical little camper you could get. Like I said, I got mine from Pfeiffer Hobby Supply and. Um, got it within two or three days seems like so uh, this kit also comes with an awning which I'm not going to use um, the oh, you see it these little um, pins right here look a little uh, odd to me and so I can either replace that with maybe some uh, fine wire or just leave it off completely but you get a it's basically uh, wood and you get a sticker that goes on top of the awning and hopefully I can pick this up. If you can see it, you do get a little picnic table with it. And um, as finicky as that looks, it really wasn't that hard to put together. You just need a pair of tweezers and some magnifying glasses, or at least I did. So again, this is the uh, travel trailer. Uh, I'm going to have to buy me a little uh, station wagon or something and set by to make it look good. But um, I'd recommend the kit. It's pretty easy to do. And... Um, uh, I think it looks really good. All right, so let me go back in front of the camera and we'll go from there. Well, there you have it, short and sweet. Um, like I said, not much going on. Uh, hopefully, you can get back in the train room this week and get some more things done, uh, especially want to try to get my little camping area completed and maybe buy some other uh, items to go in it and get that little section completed. Anyway, as always, I really appreciate you watching. I uh, love your comments. Uh, and if you want to follow along on my little end scale journey, uh, please hit that uh, subscribe button. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. As always, I really appreciate you watching. You have a great week and a safe week. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.